What's going on YouTube? This is Rob and this is my very first video toy review. Uh, I'd like to welcome you and uh, today I'm going to be doing the Kotobukiya High-End Master Model Kit Liger Zero. <clears throat> it's from the uh, Zoids line, obviously. Let's see up there, if I move this back a little bit. <clears throat> um, it's a pretty big, pretty involved set. Um, I picked this up on the uh, AmiAmi, um, and as you can see, it's a pretty large box. Um, there were many, many, many sprues in here, lots of small, tiny parts. Um, as you can see, it's uh, it's fully articulated. Uh, it's made to basically be... Uh, I don't know, kind of a almost almost an action figure type uh, type thing, but let's um let's have a look at the actual uh, actual model itself. And here we have Lager Zero, and uh, as you can see, it's very very nice, very highly detailed model kit. Um, I did already paint this and uh, panel line it, but. I didn't do anything too crazy, so it should be pretty recognizable as, you know, Liger Zero. Um, you know, if you if you end up purchasing this set, it's not going to be vastly different from what you see here, because I, I basically followed the same same paint pattern. Um, but uh, let's have a quick look at the uh, articulation on this guy. Well, we'll do a, a quick quick 360 here. I don't have a turntable, so I'm just doing this the uh, the old-fashioned way. Um, side profile, pretty sweet. Um, there's the back. Like your here's little bottom. That side, and from the front, <clears throat> and we'll check out some of the articulation here. So you have a full full range of motion. Um, well, we'll start out, let's see, he has a, uh, his midsection here can pull out so that it can turn and rotate up and down. And uh, the, uh, one of the, one of the things to look out for is at least, at least on mine, um, this, this middle piece right here is very comes off very easily the booster pack um, it's it's pretty cool it you um, it's got the little you can open this guy up here and the the booster comes out and then you just push it back and close it up so that's pretty cool um, it's got little uh, translucent pieces for the lights which I, I didn't realize it had which is pretty cool um, Let's see. Uh, the uh, the stabilizer fins on the side here um, come down, and also they they pull out. I don't know if you can see that. But. So probably for the uh, the changing armor systems, the different armors that uh, Lego Zero has available to him, uh, I imagine that will be uh, useful for. He's got a good range of motion in the tail, although mine is very very stiff but each each segment has a joint and it kind of likes to fall out sometimes too but that's okay uh, and rotating in the tail the tail gun also rotates up and down <clears throat> uh, let's see what else what else obviously the uh, the head can turn from left to right, up and down. Uh, mouth opens and closes. Um, the uh, the fins, all the fins on this guy can you know pop out and then pop out more, so you can get kind of a uh, a really really nice angry pose from from this guy. Um, also, this this is pretty cool. The uh, each 
each of the shoulder armor panels are on a separate uh, separate joint as you can kind of see here so that <clears throat> it doesn't interfere with the arm movement so you can get a really good range of poses out of this guy and you can also decapitate him that's fine too so let's check out some of the leg articulation on this guy so full range of motion with a ball joint on the uh, paw um, so it can actually go pretty far down and fairly far up so you can get a like really nice stances out of this guy uh, at the elbow and he's actually got this leg does extend a little bit I think just to get more like splayed movements um, the shoulders they go in and out so just like that and as I mentioned before the the shoulder pads really uh, really are nicely articulated he's um, got an articulated gun down on his chest I can't remember what it's called um, and as well as if I can get this out without a huge deal I'll be very excited um, there we go he has his zoid core here which is just a translucent marble um, stuck in this little little thing here and that is just really really cool um, another little translucent piece this tiny little piece um, I don't know if you can see it very well if I can get it to focus on there that piece was a it was really fun to uh, to get that in let me tell you yeah, awesome because it's it's uh, keyed, so it has to go in a certain like a certain direction. It can't just be kind of stuck in any way you like. So it only fit one way. Um, let's see the back legs. Uh, full, you know, they're they they can move independently of the armor pieces. Uh, the armor can move as well. Uh, again, on a separate separate joint. Um, it's got the, the legs, let's see, it's just very stiff as I have not, uh, I haven't really moved this guy around save for a few poses and such like that, but this is also, you can also extend that leg a little bit, it's just very tight on mine. Um, so yeah, let's see here. This, uh, I don't know, this guy took me a few days to build, you know, a couple couple hours here and there. Uh, mostly, most of that time was spent in just cutting the bits off the sprues and uh, painting and waiting for paint to dry and then, you know, the panel lining and, and that sort of thing. But if if you're just gonna buy this kit and assemble it as is, it'll take you a few hours, I think, um, just because there's some small bits in there, but not overly complicated. And uh, actually, if we take a look here, the uh, the instruction booklet. Don't mind mine; it may have paint on it. Um, uh, some very nice. Very nice explanation of all the all the parts and, and things, and I I can't read any of it, but it's very nice looking, and some uh, some line art which is amazing, just amazing detail. All this stuff, all the uh, different pieces, and then the instructions, uh, very very easy to follow, uh, even if you don't read or you know Japanese. There are there are these symbols which I just I just looked online and, and found a, a guide to tell me what these meant in English. But for the most part, they're pretty they're pretty easy to figure out. Uh, and in the back here, we have a painting guide. Um, so 
super, super detailed, super nice, uh, very easy to follow, and uh, shows you how to apply the decals, which I didn't do. I don't really like decals uh, on my Zoid kits, just because, I don't know, not my thing. Um, also, one more thing. Uh, in the cockpit here is a tiny little bit cloud from New Century Zero or Zoid Century Zero. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it's a this this figure came pre-painted and uh, he's adorable. So yeah, I would totally recommend any of these uh, Kotobukiya HMM high-end master model kits. They're very cool. They're a very good time if you're into uh, building, engineering, anything like that. It's it's amazing to see how these things go together. Um, but thank you so much for watching my very first uh, toy review. I think my next one is going to be a Lego set. We'll see how that goes. And uh, thanks so much. Please uh, rate, subscribe, like if you liked it, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.